G'day. So what we're going to be doing today is showing you how to use symbols that are used across the world that are not on your keyboard. So if you look at your keyboard, um, and again, some keyboards look different, but if you look at your keyboard, for the most part, um, you're not going to see a euro sign, you're not going to see a yen sign, you're not going to see a lot of signs that are used in the financial world that you might need. Uh, what do you do? Well, it's really simple. They're called alt codes. Okay, if you look here, there's a, a symbol called alt, and what you do is you press alt and you press a bunch of numbers and you will get those codes. So what we're going to do, we, we did a search under Google and uh, we said, hey, alt codes, financial symbols list, and there's a whole ton beyond financial symbols. But this shows us that the euro sign, for instance, is alt 0128. So if you're looking for your euro sign, again, it's not on your keyboard. So I'm going to hold down Alt and press 0128. And as you can see, out comes my um, euro. For yen, I know for a fact it's 0165. So I'm going to press that in and it'll eventually show up. Okay. Um, you can also use Alt 157. And that'll show up as well. So, and and again, in certain cases for certain symbols, um, there's more than one alt code you can use. So, just some information for you that might help you in your day-to-day -day typing. Anyways, thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed it, and have a great day. Later.